We will now explore how to design parallel input registers. Parallel input data is stored in the register synchronously at the clock trigger. This process is called a LUD. A parallel input register can be constructed using the required number of D-type flip-flops triggered by a common clock signal. For the purpose of data conversion, it is important for the register to be able to do the shift function as well as the load. However, for each of the two flip-flops, there are now two competing inputs, one for the shift and one for the parallel load. The competing inputs must be channeled by a two-channel multiplexer. In this case, resetting the input to zero performs a shift, whereas setting it to one performs a load. We now wish to design a parallel in bidirectional shift register. In this case, we now have three competing inputs for the D flip-flop. One for the right shift, one for the left shift, and one for the parallel load. In order to channel these three inputs, we require a four-channel multiplexer. The four-channel multiplexer has two select lines, called here S1 and S0 which together selects one of the four input channels. With this designation, the select lines operate as follows. When S1 is 1 and S0 is 1, the parallel input is loaded. When S1 is 0 and S0 is 1, the load is disabled and the register shifts right. When S1 is 1 and S0 is 0, the load is disabled and the register shifts left. The parallel input bidirectional shift register is also called the universal shift register. The TTL 74194IC is a 4-bit universal shift register. In addition to our earlier design, the S1 equals 0 S0 equals 0 input state is used as a data hold. In addition, this IC has an active low asynchronous reset. With memory devices, such a reset is called a clear. 